G'day, I'm Glenn Morris from the Smart Energy Lab, and today it's my great pleasure to have Ria here from Green Bank Environmental. G'day, thank Ria. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for having me. What an amazing place you've got here. Oh, thank you. It's so exciting. <laughs> a bit exciting driving here, wasn't it? Yes, it was. <laughs> I'm scared of heights and coming up the uh, coming up the mountain was very interesting. Right. Very Lucky you didn't get the school run when everyone's coming down the mountain at you. No. <laughs> on the narrow dirt road. <laughs> I was going to ring you to get the helicopter and pick me up at the bottom, but um, yeah, no, I made it. I made it. Thanks. <laughs> now, don't laugh. Actually, I had a student arrive in a helicopter. Really? Yeah, I couldn't believe I thought he was joking. He said, have you got somewhere we can land a helicopter and I go uh yes wow <laughs> from Sydney wow that's and epic this is my motorbike basically oh wow <laughs> that's pretty cool that's pretty cool yeah that's pretty cool so um Ria tell me a bit about um Green Bank I know that you know like I've known Green Bank for oh I don't know 15 years or more but it's longer than that yeah so I started with Fiona who's my mum so mother daughter team um in 2004 2005 that was that was before STCs yes oh well no it was it was before STCs but it was when they were Rex right so good when they were Rex. Re- yeah good on Rex we used to have these t-shirts that used to say get wrecked with green bank <laughs> <laughs> um 2005 uh fresh out of uh school you know 24 25 um started with Fiona just did a house in Croydon and um, it was just the two of us. I was doing all the data entry, the verification, cash flow, those sorts of things and then we were earning enough money to start employing people. So So we did. Back in 2004, when there were wrecks, um, there wasn't like the $8,000 rebate even. No. It would have been a very small market. Yeah, it was. There was a lot of um, rural um, communities, a lot of Aboriginal communities, lots of places in WA doing the LGCs or the wrecks at the time. Um, And we used to send out a wreck check package. So we'd send them via post. They would get um, an application form and they would have to post that back. So everything was done by snail mail. (laughs) (laughs) And the fax machine, oh, my goodness. There was one time when they did bring out the $8,000 rebate and then the multiplier where um, we had to turn the fax machine off because we were getting too many rebates to, that we could actually achieve. So. I remember the 8th of May 2007, um, Peter Costello announced the $8,000 rebate and no one was ready for it. No. The industry hadn't called for it. It was just a rabbit out of a hat and suddenly my business took off. Yes. I can yeah. imagine that that's when all the fax machine went mad too. Yes, exactly. And that's when we pulled the pin. Yeah. But um, no, it was, and it was an absolute, it was a huge learning curve. And just to get through all the government different policies and all the um, one minute the ret's hot, one minute it's not, you know, um, it's been an exciting ride, that's for sure. Yeah. Exciting. So um, you've done a lot more since just doing RECs and STCs. You, you do environmental certificates in general? Yeah, so we're trading um, renewable energy certificates, which is STCs and LGCs. We're mm-hmm. also trading ACUs, which is the Australian Carbon Credit Units. Oh, now you've got to explain that one to me. Hang on. I love to expand acronyms because not all my audience don't all necessarily know all these technical terms. So um, small scale technology certificates. Yes. So what? they're for up to 100 kilowatts, you get um, small STCs. Yep. Um, anything over a 100 kilowatt system, you get a um, large scale certificate. Yep. And that is a metered requirement. So you meet at the generation and then you can um, become a small power um, generator and then we'll create your certificates through that. So LGCs are kind of more honest. You actually have to do the work, yes. create the renewable energy. Yeah. Rest he sees an upfront discount. Correct. And they're yeah. measured and verified, the LGCs. So, yeah. you know, and you can do that for longer than just the um, the eight years deeming. Yeah. Now the ACUs? Australian Carbon Credit Units. They're yeah. for things like savannah burning, mm-hmm. um, deforestation, reforestation. They're for piggeries that um, go and cover their methane ponds and they capture the methane, they burn the methane. They can generate the Australian Carbon Credit Units. Ah. And so therefore the safeguard mechanism. Um, and so liable entities have to purchase a certain amount to offset their emissions. Yep. And we can actually um, process and register those as well. Now, there's another technical term, liable entities. What is a liable entity? So liable entities is anyone that has a certain amount of retail clients that they have to offset their requirements through the renewable energy target. Right. So that's through the clean energy regulator or who enforces that? So the clean energy regulator. Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So AGL, Origin, um, Rio Tinto, all would be liable entities that have to purchase a certain amount of certificates from a particular scheme to then offset their retail client or offset their carbon requirements. Would that be like if I'm buying green power, they are then buying offsets to represent that? Uh, green power's a little bit different. Green power's more of a generation certificate, mm-hmm. I thought. So... Um, 
So it's a little bit different. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So now, you also do energy efficiency as well. We do. So in Victoria, you can um, replace water heating, inefficient water heating, um, with more energy efficient water heating, and you can create uh, VEGS, Victorian Energy F Efficiency Certificates. There's so many acronyms. Uh, there is so many. There is so many. Um, <laughs> so you can generate VEGS in Victoria and ESKIs in New South Wales for similar activities, commercial mm. lighting upgrades, uh, water heating, um, pool pumps, yep. efficient pool pumps. Um, what else is there? Window ceiling, there's double glazing. Um, chimney balloons. Yes, I believe so. Yeah, yes. I remember yeah. hearing that one. I thought that's weird. But yeah. it, it actually, a chimney, if you hadn't got a fire a cover over it, it's yes. just a great draft. Yes, it is. All the yeah. heat just goes out the chimney during yeah. the winter if you haven't got a fire. Yeah. yeah. How, how amazing is that, though, that you could get a rebate for something like that? Putting a chimney balloon in. Yes, yeah. yeah. Haven't created any of them yet. You know, um, a lot of people come to me saying, you know, I want to put solar and save money, but really the, the, the cheapest thing is actually use less, right? And that's where energy efficiency comes in. So these programs are really good, encouraging. Yes. It's a bit of a, you know, carrot. Yes. Energy efficiency first. Yeah, I think it's great. I think it um, it's an educational piece as well. Like we've, you know, 20 years from where we've gone and where we've come from, mm -hmm. it's just outstanding to see so many people. It's more front of mind now, the energy efficiency side. Yeah. Which yeah. is great. That is good. It yeah. is good. I've got a bunch of questions here. I'm just going to run through them. But we were going to talk about the Matildas, but you're not really a soccer fan. No, I'm not. <laughs> I did hear it was a wonderful game, though. It was a wonderful game. Uh, there's a lot of screaming in my house. Was there? Uh, my good friend in Germany, they were sending us pictures of them sitting around, you know, middle, 10 hours difference watching it. Um, so who won? Australia. Of course. Oh. <laughs> the Matildas are awesome. I mean, it's just an incredible journey to, to the Matildas going from like amateur 10 years or so ago and now yeah. like professional. And, you know, it's not just um, uh, kind of equity issues. It's just fabulous sport. Yes. Uh, so, yeah. 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 So, um, and they've, they've got some really great performers, haven't they? Really yeah. great athletes. I yeah. mean, the amount of effort and training they must put in is outstanding. Yeah. It's huge. Yeah. Yeah, it's good to see. I mean, I must admit, I'm not a big sports fan, but I just thought the play was amazing. So you know, I can appreciate. What were the, the scores in the end? Four nil. Four nil to Australia. Okay. Wow. And that's against the world champions, Canada. Yes. Sorry, Canadians out there. I'm sure you'll beat us at a game one day, but uh, <laughs> that was as the host Until nation. Until next time. <laughs> Until next time. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> um, now. You know, my background is a, as a solar installer, and I, I still do a little bit um, as a designer. Mm -hmm. I don't really get on the roof anymore. Uh, and I have to go through the process of creating all these selfies. Um, now, how do you manage that process as a, uh, as a as a aggregator of certificates, keeping track of all that stuff? Oh, it's we have um, so there's we have some software that we manage. So you've got a, an installer app mm -hmm. where the installers can take the selfies and sync that through to their portal. Um, so generally they'd be out on site, they'd be doing the, um, the installation and they'd have to take a selfie in front of the meter box or selfie in front of the inverter or a selfie um, in front of the panels being delivered or something like that to actually prove that they were on site at the start, the middle and the end. Mm. That data is all geotagged and then syncs to the portal. And then once they're back at that back at the office, they can um, submit all that data to Green Bank, and then we can process their rebates. I hear a lot of complaints from installers, like there's so much paperwork and regulation, etc. But I guess you know this is a government program; they have to be responsible that the money's going appropriately to the right people. Yes, and it's about efficiency, right? So if mm -hmm. they're not actually generate, so if they're not actually saving energy or being efficient or installing true and correct. Um, measurement and verification of the, the solar power, mm. then the emission the, the savings aren't there. Yeah. So, you know, it is it is actually measured and verified. Yeah, it's good. I mean, before the Clean Energy Regulator really got on board with their inspection program, there was a lot of dodgies out there. There was, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, but with every scheme that kind of happens, right? Yeah. Especially one that's been um, evolving, you know, uh, for so long. Yeah. So, um, yeah, the, the app that Green Bank have, that's your own app, is it? Yeah, that's correct. So wow. we have our own app. Um, we also outsource an app. Yep. Um, but essentially the installers have the app. They sync all their data, their photos and the, the serial numbers, and then we process and register it and pay them within 24 hours. Wow, that's mm. fast turnaround. Really, t really fast, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we've been doing it a while. We used to have 21-day payment terms. Yes. 14-day uh, payment terms, down to seven, and then, you know, now we're at 24. Yeah. I guess you're also taking on some risk there because you become the liable entity because those certificates, 
you create them, not the installer. You just verify the installer has done the, their due diligence. Yeah, that's correct. So the true owner of um, a, a STC or a VEEK is the homeowner or the, yeah. the owner of the system at the time of installation. Um, and so essentially the assignment process um, happens between Green Bank and the homeowner and the installer is the facilitator. Right. But we pay the installer on behalf of the homeowner for processing and registering their certificates. Do you get many homeowners who want to trade their own certificates? We, we do. Yeah. So we actually still have, we're probably the largest aggregator in Australia that still deals with Mr. and Mrs. Jones. Really? Yeah. Yes. Yep. It's great. We get many calls. Um, they're a lot more administrative heavy. Yes. But again, um, you know, we, we enjoy it because there are people that want to do it themselves. There's also installers that don't really want to process and register or deal with the paperwork. Yeah. Um, and they just want to be able to pass that on to the homeowner. Yeah. So, wow. yeah. Wow, mums and dads, I never had one person. So uh, I remember thinking, oh, this is weird. He wants to actually own the certificates himself. And yeah. it turns out he was a, um, a stock market trader and mm -hmm. he realised this is just a stock, you know. I yes. can choose when to sell it. Yes. It was when it was uh, about $18. Yes. That was quite a while ago. Yeah. So he did well hanging on to them probably. Yeah, <laughs> I could imagine he probably did. It's, um, you know, they do trade like shares yeah. and it's very volatile at times. Yeah. The STC market's been fairly stable. Mm. Um, VEEX, on the other hand, we're trading at something around about $52 about 12 months ago, now they're at 84. Woo. Yes, so big uptick in wow. banks. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Eskies, I think they're at around 26 now. Again, they were trading at about 32. So. Yeah, yeah. Wow. STCs are around 39.90. And LGCs? LGCs, I'd have to say about 56. So they're really yeah. tanking now. Yeah. Because we're running out. Yes. Basically, yeah. met, met the targets. Exactly, we, are, we have met the targets. Yeah. 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 The yeah. STC target gets sent uh, gets set every twelve months, so that'll get set again next year. That's right. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so the, once the targets be met, then the price will drop. Correct. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. Now I, I'm aware that the sort of international certificates are, I believe, they're called white certificates. Do you have anything to do with that, Mark? No, not really. Um, there's no linkage at the moment between Australia and other in, uh, other countries to actually be able to share our carbon credits across the the waters. But I think we are look as Australia. I think we are looking towards that, and through the safeguard mechanism, they may bring it out. I believe in maybe four to five years, hopefully oh. sooner. Um, it would make us more competitive, and it would put us on an international. Um, you know, on an international stand. So these are actually carbon credits, the white certificates, but they're on international market. I believe so, yes. Ah, yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah. Now, here's a tech one, which I just asked you before we started recording, and I only just found out, and you just found out too from me, is that um, there's yet another change with the CC approved list for modules coming up. So yes. I guess this is a bit of uh, uh, public information for those who are watching this, that uh, come the 1st of October 2024, mm -hmm. uh, all modules need to be certified to IEC 61215-2021 edition. And that's going to drop a whole lot. Let me lot. write that down. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's going to be a whole lot are going to drop off the list. But I guess in a way you just link with the CC approved list. If they're not on there, it's not on, right? Yeah, I think they're just bringing it out to make sure that everybody's aware of it. Yep. And then over the next 12 months, they'll transition to that correct standard, I'd imagine. Everybody yep. will have to update the CC list models and then, you know, we draw down on that list actively on a daily basis. Right. We import all that data to the back end of our software. And so that way it's, um, it's matched at the time of install. So I guess it's heads up to um, people who hold stock, don't hold it too long if it hasn't got the, the newer certification. Correct, yeah. yeah. All yeah. right, cool. Yeah. Now, we've talked a bit about Green Bank, but how about uh, Ria? <laughs> um, tell me about your passions. Oh, so um, I do powerlifting. Yep. That's, that's a big passion of mine. I, I do some powerlifting maybe three times a week, which is great. Um, I have a coach um, and we do a lot of training. Uh, I've done one competition and came third. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. So that's really cool. I never thought that, you know, three basic movements, the deadlift, the squat and the bench would actually make you so fit and strong. It's great. It's really, really good. It's challenging though. It's challenging, but yeah. it's great. So much fun. Cool. Have you done any powerlifting before or weightlifting? Uh, well, I was actually an Olympic lifter. Really? Yeah. So wow. I, I was New Zealand lightweight champion. Wow. Um, as a junior. Yes. So I, I, I finished when I was about 18. But yeah. yeah. Hey, and you haven't picked it back up again? No, not really. Um, actually, I like swimming these days. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it's a bit, bit, bit gentler. Yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah. I like the water. Yeah. The water's great. I mean, it's so it's so healing as well. Yeah. The water. Mm. But um, what inspired me actually was the Commonwealth Games in New Zealand. And I was thinking, oh, we just lost the Commonwealth Games in Victoria. It, it would have inspired a, a lot of kids to take up different sports. So, yeah. 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 What did you love about it? Um, ah, gee, I, I, I think I remember actually this guy, he was Vasily Alexip. He was the heavyweight 
Uh, he's actually the world heavyweight champion. He came to New Zealand and part of a demonstration at the Commonwealth Games. And uh, he was just such a massive guy. I mean, yeah. he was also really friendly and, uh, you know, interviews with him. And it was just, it kind of got me interested in the sport. Yeah, they're yeah. so humble. <laughs> <laughs> he used to have like a, a plate of eggs this big for breakfast. Really? Oh my gosh, getting his protein in. <laughs> well, when you're in the super heavyweight class, the bigger you are, the better. Yeah. So you just eat lots. Yeah, okay. It doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what it is. Um, yeah. Now, the other thing I've really noticed with your, your LinkedIn posts, apart from the powerlifting, is the placards. Yes. Yeah, now, the cardboard where, quotes. Yeah, that's great. Where did that idea come from? Oh, I, I, I don't. To be honest, I can't really recall. I, um, a couple of years ago, I just noticed there was the dude with the dude with the sign in America. So there was this guy with the sunglasses on and he used to hold up the, the boards. And I thought there's a really missing piece in the renewable energy um, sector and also across carbon where we're not really getting key messages across. So I just started to do it and then just started to get original quotes out there and, and you know, really, you know, sometimes controversial, sometimes funny. Um, and just trying to make some make some noise out there to get people talking about this, you know, this great scheme that we're in. This this industry is wonderful, right? It looks like you do them on holiday, even. Like... I do try. I do try. <laughs> I was standing in, in at the in the ocean one time. It was, it was very interesting. <laughs> I try to get them in very different areas. Yeah, but yeah. yeah like, it does has look anyone like got a big holiday. sheet of cardboard I can have, please? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Exactly. I did bring one with me today, Glenn. So if we get a chance, we oh, can do one. We've got to do a placard. Yes, yeah. Let's do one. <laughs> oh, it's great. It's really Really good. Yeah. So um, it's been really great talking to you, Ria. And Thank you. Getting to know more about you and uh, your business. I mean, Green Bank really are the biggest trader of certificates in Australia yeah, still? I, yeah. Look, I think we're probably third largest. Oh, third largest. But oh, okay. um, I think it's also been, we used to be the, the largest, but it's not always about size, is it? So, you know. Yeah. The other thing, the other um, incentive that we've just bought out is Net Zero Hero, where ah. we're offsetting our installers' cars. Yes. So that's really cool. Um, we've had some really big interest on that. Yeah, we talked about that at the Smart Energy yeah, Expo. That, yeah. that, that was a really interesting idea. So, yeah. you know, um, walk the talk basically. Yes, yeah. So yep. if you're installing solar, you can offset your vehicles, you can offset your travel and your fleets. And um, some some people have really already signed up and it's great. And they can go through to our website and register there. It's a great really tagline, cool. net zero hero. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll, br I'll bring you a T-shirt next time. <laughs> yeah, cool. Well, why don't we go and do that placard? Sounds great. Sounds okay. great. Thanks for having me. Yeah, pleasure.